Dixis DBI's brother Panther. I've got a database here I've been monitoring. I'm going to do a response time analysis for this database. And what I see here is for the last eight hours, not much going on. I actually want to look uh, at the entire week. So I'm going to look at the performance of this database for the week. And I've got a quarter second response time. 85% of that time is inside the database. And the database uh, is a little bit more I.O. bound than CPU bound. I'm going to click on that I.O. pie slice. And Brother Panther just did the analysis to find the statements that are causing that database to be I.O. bound. So right there, I've got about two-thirds of all the I.O. in the database tied up in these four statements. I can pass those as a workload to the design advisor and apply DBI's advanced index benefit analysis methodology. So here's an I.O. bound database, two-thirds of all the I.O. in four statements. We're waiting for the answer here. Do -de -do -de -do -de -do. Oh, outstanding. And we can see we're going to get from 374,000 time runs down to 116 for a 99% improvement. Here's the indexes that we have the opportunity to create. And we can see the benefit of each of these indexes. If we add this first index, we'll get 49% of that savings. If we add this second index, we get 46% of that savings. And if we add this third index, well, that's not a very big contributor to all that savings. So I take these. Uh, first two, that's the bulk of my savings. Click on Create. There they are in my editor. I'm ready to go. And just like that, in, in about a minute, I just took two-thirds of the I.O. out of an I.O. bound database. Isn't that easy? Yes, it is. Here comes the duck. On your mark, get set, go. Yeah, uh, today's my topic is about uh, uh, DB2 LUW migration from AIX E6 box to P8 box. Uh, basically, the background is the IBM AIX Power 6 machine support was ending on April 5, 2016. And we were in hurry migrating all our, our DB2 databases from P6 machine to P8 machine. So for this, we needed to decommission all IBM AIX P6 machine and bring new AIX P8 servers. So the challenges uh, we had in GB2 migration uh, was that we had almost 20 plus databases, DB2 databases in version 9.7 and some in 10.1, including dev, test, tutorial, and production. And uh, production database was approx in size 40 plus GB. So a redirected restore was not an option for us. So how did we proceed with this challenge and adopted a strategy? Uh, this is basically a migration process. So uh, if you see here, uh, this is the IBM AIX P6 box where was originally DB2 was installed and database was resided. Now we want it to migrate it to IBM AIX P8 machine. So this is the P6 machine and, and this is the new P8 machine. So if you here see the host name is WKDBB, instance is db 2 nst one and the new AIX P8 machine, it was host name was WKDDB1 and the instance is db 2 nst one So we want it to migrate our database from this P6 machine to P8 machine. So uh, this is this was the DBA task list that we did perform uh, for AIS, AIX P6 machine. We backed up the DB and the DBM CFG configurations, and we also backed up the registry variables. Uh, because uh, some of the way, uh, uh, because these uh, DB CFG and DBM CFG was back, backed up as a um, as uh, as a precautionary measure that uh, we needed to look some uh, configuration parameters later 
a new AIX DB2 machine. And uh, uh, this is the DBA task list for the AIX P8 machine. So we almost created an identical server uh, as AIX P6 box and uh, the required user and the group creation for the DB2 was uh, uh, we created DB2 fenced group that is the DB2 FGP1, we created DB2 fenced user, DB2 fence one, DB2 cesarean group, DB2 GP1 and the DB2 instance user, DB2 INST group. So it was exactly the identical uh, identical machine of uh, uh, which it was in P6, the same user and groups were created and now we proceeded the DB2 base and fix pack fix installation on AIX P8 box using this command db2 install b and provided the path. Now, now um, um, uh, we just moved our SAN from P6 to P8 because all our database table spaces was already on SAN. So uh, we did not do any redirected restore. We just moved the SAN from P6 box to P8 box. And the, uh, and the condition that was are in favor was the instance user home directory was also on SAN. So uh, the all SAN directories data f 01 INST01 was transferred from P6 box to P8 box. So after the SAN <coughs> movement, after the SAN movement, uh, we changed the DC2 instance home path. Uh, we change because uh, when we create a user, it is by default created in the home path. So uh, after the SAN movement, uh, as the instance home path was also on SAN, so we needed to change the instance home path. And what we did, we just renamed the SQL lib to SQL lib original for the instance user which was taken from P6 machine. Now, uh, on the AIX P8 machine, what we did, we created an instance using the db2 i create command uh, specifying the parameter server instance type ESC and port number and we configured our instance db2 set db2 com tcp ap this is very required if your remote application wanted to connect to the instance and uh, then we restored the db and cfg that was taken on the old p6 machine and uh, uh, once the instance is created on the new p8 box uh, it simply creates the SQL lib directory under the home db2 inst1 under the instance user path. So we renamed this SQL lib to SQL lib backup and now we renamed SQL lib original which was taken from old p6 machine uh, to SQL lib. So all paths are uh, so all paths are verified uh, and after that we updated that instance. So all path verification completed successfully. Now, when we started DB2 instance on newly P8 configured machine, we got an error. The error in DB2 node.csg file at the line number, this is reason for. When I searched for the, this DB2 code, uh, I found that uh, uh, we also needed to change the hostname entry in the DB2 node configuration because, uh, uh, because we use the uh, SQL lib. Uh, which was taken from the old P6 machine. So the host name was there WKDB and now we have changed the host name on P8 machine. So I changed that entry from WKDB to WKDB1. And when I started the DB2 instance, it is started successfully. And so um, um, what I did uh, after this, I just uncatalog the database using the DB2 uncatalog DB and recatalog and catalog it again to refresh the directory cache and uh, start the DB2 instance and uh, and the my database was available on P8 box and uh, uh, all business uh, was on track. So that's it. Perfect. So the, and there's the duck. Yeah. yeah. So we achieved uh, uh, this migration uh, with minimum down window because if we had to restore, it could take more than a day. So we had to adapt, adopt uh, uh, a less time consuming strategy. So I thought about this and implemented. How fast did you get it done? How long was it down? Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, um, um, it was nearly done in two to three hours. Two to three hours, okay. Uh, Martin, your thoughts, yeah. please. 